All right, so for this video, we are going to do something a little bit different. And I'm going to talk about a new toolbox that I purchased and what my strategy is with this new toolbox and why I think it's going to really work well for me. And so if you look at what I have right here, um, I, when I would go to the track, I would use this DeWalt toolbox. And then I, these two blue cases here would have all my spare parts and screws. And then this toolbox here was all my soldering stuff. And these would go into this bin. And so all this stuff I wanted to get into one toolbox and, and kind of get organized with that. And you know, I've been, I was thinking a long time I wanted to get stackable toolboxes because this DeWalt, when I fill it up, it's super heavy to get in my truck. And as I get older, it's getting harder for me to do that. So I wanted to get a stackable solution. And the thing I was struggling with is the stackable toolboxes. I was originally looking at the Milwaukee uh, pack out and those are really expensive, uh, quite a bit more than I really wanted to spend. And the other thing is, is those pack outs are really intended for like working professionals. Um, and so they're really kind of, um, although really nice, they are, I think maybe over engineered for the RC application. Um, and so I finally got excited. I found a solution that's quite a bit more affordable. All right, so enter here is my solution. Pretty much a fit all of the stuff that I had in my old toolbox and all those bins I showed you into this system. Um, I'll show you guys like close-ups of how I have it all organized. Um, but the thing that I like about this system is you can buy each one of these pieces separately and there's just this little locking feature here and you can pull a piece on and off. And it ha it's on this, this bottom piece has wheels on it. So it allows you to easily move this thing around. And then you can, you know, for loading into the truck, you can separate these pieces and they're relatively lightweight because you can separate them and you can put them in the bed of the truck. And then the other thing that I like is you see this second box to the side here that's not in the stack. So I have all my um, eight scale parts in that box and all my 10 scale parts in this box. And so depending on what I'm racing, I just swap out this center area of this box. And then um, I've got charger stuff up here, all my tools in here, and then uh, miscellaneous, my oils and uh, soldering iron, et cetera, stuff down here. So yeah, let's, uh, Let's get it up close and I'll show you what this looks like. I'm super excited. I really like this system. Um, I purchased it from Walmart. Um, and this entire stack, um, the most expensive piece is this bottom one, which is about $50. Um, these two middle ones are uh, like $45. Um, and this top one was roughly, I think, $30. So this stack, as you're looking at it, uh, is just under 200. And then if you add that second one over off to the side here, that's another like $45. Um, and then I'm still, I got this other unit for my small parts right here which can, you know, also can clip into these. I got two of those and I was planning to put all my screws in there, but I am, I'm not entirely, I'm still trying to figure out what the screw containment's gonna look like. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use those or not. I feel like the dividers in those 
the screws and washers would slide under the dividers. So I'm still trying to sort that part of it out, but let's get up close and personal and I'll show you what this thing's made of. All right, so here we are. We're up close and personal now. Um, and this handle, you can actually retract it. So we'll push that handle down. Um, and then this box here, it's got these little locking clamps that you can take off. And then you can open this thing up. And you can see it's got this seal here to help make it waterproof. And so on top here, I've got my eye charger that I kept in the box. I have my power supply here. I've got all my different wires. So I've got 4S and 2S battery leads and all the charge cables. Over here I got some gloves. I got my calipers. I've got some of the different programmers. Hobby Wang and McClan programmers. I got this USB cable. Um, and my infrared temperature gun. Um, and then these dividers, you can actually pull them out and not have them in if you like, but I'm gonna leave them in. I like the organization that that provides. This box also comes with this. I didn't find a use for this thing, but here you go. You can see it's got those little compartments in it. You can stick it in one of these if you wanted to keep that in there. Um, so yeah, that's the top box. If we just keep on working our way down here, so you just pull these out and then there's handles here and there's also a handle here for this box and you can pull this one off. All right, so now if we look at the next one, I'm gonna kind of, uh, I'll just leave it down, but you've got this little cam mechanism that you turn and you can move this latch and stow it like so and get it out of the way. And then you have two drawers here. So you can see I've got all my MIP hex drivers and also my nut drivers over here. Got some toothbrushes, exactos, arm reamers, and then one extra hex wrench over here. Um, my tire wrench, and then I've got all my different cutters and um, small uh, needle nose pliers on this side. I've got some tapes here and my different uh, drills, the drill pistons. So pretty much the main tools I use is in this drawer. Um, and this thing has a little bit of a, a grab to it so they don't just like fall open if they're angled a little bit. Next drawer here, I've got um, my, uh, sh my shock pliers and some forceps down here. I've got these robo grip um, channel locks. My ride height gauge, all my camber wrenches there. I've got some, the body scissors and reamers and a Sharpie pen here. I've got my camber gauge and some other just miscellaneous tools and my speed tips for my uh, DeWalt gyro driver earplugs when the, the Nitra guys ask me to pit for them. It's pretty cool. I really like how organized the tools are. Um, I'm actually going to probably stick this unit with the charging unit and actually stick it on my table during the race. So I'll just unlock it here and put the, the two stack on my table is what I think I'm going to try. But um, pretty cool stuff there. Okay, so now if we go down to the next stack down here, this is where I keep my parts and stow this again. And these kind of have a little bit of a lip, so you lift up and then pull, and the lip kind of retains them. And so if you see here, this first one for me, it's all my springs 
for my tent scale. So all this over here is for the 12 millimeter shots. And then all of this over here is for the 13 millimeter shocks and still adding to my collection here. And then each one of these bends, it comes with enough to do the dividers in every spot. So you could divide this up into uh, um, five compartments. These are all fixed and then same with over here. So you get a total to where you can make all five compartments. So eight dividers per each one of these trays. So if we go to the next one here, this is all my suspension stuff for tent scale. And so you can see here, over here is my 741 parts and this is my 6.4 parts in this area here. And these are kind of the shared stuff. And finally here, the bottom one is all my drivetrain. You can see my pinions and spurs here. Some hexes and out drives, servo arms, fans. Some diff gears for the 741. Um, some various tools. If we take a quick peek at this 8 scale bend, um, it's set up pretty similar to how I have the 10 scale one. Um, so we've got all the shock items here, truggy over here, e-buggy over there, and all the pistons and seals, etc. shared between them in the middle. This one out. We got all our suspension stuff here. So um, arms for both cars on this side, sway bars over on that side, hinge pins and pill inserts in the middle. And then finally, all the drivetrain and miscellaneous chassis stuff here bunch of bearings in this thing in the middle but super excited I really like though I feel like it's next level organization I just really like to stay organized so I li really like this part setup okay and then finally with the stack off you know this bottom one you have to remove the stack to open it you can see the handle now here with it deployed and you can lift it up. Um, the one thing I will say, one of my complaints is this handle is about an inch too tall for this piece to fit underneath my tonneau cover of my truck. Um, so I, there's some videos I found where I'm going to probably modify this handle so it fits with my truck cover on. But if we uh, unclip these, um, this this door is kind of nice. It actually has a little bit of a notch to keep it open, which is nice. And you can see here that I bought some bends here. So this is a bunch of soldering stuff. There, here's my DeWalt. I'm actually going to probably move those speed tips down here just so I don't have a hard time finding them. Here's some shrink tubing. This is uh, some nut drivers. I may eventually just get some MIP, a couple more nut drivers and this will go away, but for now I have that. Some extra, rent, uh, these are screwdrivers and these are uh, English hex uh, Allen wrenches. Got my 
power or my power strip here. I've got this thing with all my manuals for my different buggies and my setup sheets. And then underneath this, I've got my soldering iron. And then finally here, I got this big wide bin, which has all my oils and greases and stuff in it. Um, yeah, super excited. I really like the organization of this. I just can't buy too many more. Um, I'm getting a little tight here, but I think I pretty much have mostly what I need anyway. Um, so pretty cool. This bin, it just, it's super tight. It just barely fits in the box. It's almost like it came, this, this bin did not come with the box and those other white plastics as well. Um, so I bought those from Staples. Um, but yeah, you can see it's a little bit of a tight fit, but it does go in here. If you get the soldering iron out of the way, there we go. And we can stick this stuff back in. But yeah, anyway, so that's my organization. And like I mentioned before, the only thing left is I'm trying to figure out how to um, take care of my small screws and washers so we can stick this thing you can see back on. And the back just kind of latches in and then you push these on and now it's all there and you're ready to roll it away. So yeah, these small part ones that I mentioned, they've got these little latches and you can open them up. And the biggest thing is, is that I feel like these compartments are too big and then they also don't seal good on the bottom. So I don't know, I'm either gonna look at having something 3D printed that has smaller compartments or maybe just getting a case that I stick in here, but still trying to figure that out. That's the only thing I need to resolve. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this tour of my new toolbox. Super happy with it. I love the color, love the look of it, love the flexibility. And, you know, if you're interested in it, come check it out at the track. So I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe.